The following is a segment from the Carl King Podcast. If you enjoy this show, be sure to like, subscribe, and send us burritos. Up next, we have Duel, written and directed by a person named Riley Stearns. This film stars Karen Gillan, and you might remember her as Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy. That sort of blue, alien, half-robot lady. Now, this was shot entirely in a small town in Finland, which to American audiences might give it a small town Midwestern feel. But you can't really tell what year it is, because the UIs on their computers and cell phones are kind of monochrome 80s retro looking. So it's all a bit anachronistic. The opening scene is a winner for me, because guess what? It has no dialogue. And Carl King always loves a scene with no dialogue. Hmm. Now, wouldn't that be something to make a podcast with no dialogue? Like, how would you communicate an episode entirely visually? Or, what if bands went on tour and did silent concerts, but they would still jump around and make faces like they were playing, but you had to imagine the music? I would definitely pay to see that. Anyway, back to my commentary. Something that makes a good film, I think, is starting the viewer off with incomplete information. You know, we go into it and we can sense it. that Something is going on here. Something is off. And you don't yet know what it is. It takes time to put it all together. And there's no need for an explanation. We don't need scrolling exposition. Because we'll figure it out. And that's part of the fun of it. I think this film is slightly spoiled by the movie poster and marketing. Otherwise, that first scene would have been even more impactful. You might recall there are other movies where someone is going to die of a disease, so they replace themselves with a clone, and then they change their mind and they have to go kill the clone. One recent example of that was Swan Song. And on the surface, it would appear to be that same concept But Duel is a drastically different style and plot. There is way more going on with this story, and there is a double twist ending. In its tone, Duel reminds me of a 2008 film by Charlie Kaufman called Synecdoche, New York. And that's supposed to sound similar to Schenectady, but it's a smarty pants, literary, conceptual kind of thing. Anyway, in Synecdoche, New York, the lead character believes he's dying and is emotionally detached. And that's very much what we see here. Because as Karen Gillan says in Duel, why aren't I crying? In my opinion, this film is about the experience of depersonalization and derealism. Feeling a lack of connection to yourself and the world around you. Like any sci-fi, we're given a what-if situation. A parallel world similar to our own, but with slightly different rules. So here's a strong, specific, stylistic thing that writer-director Riley Stearns executed like a master. Both Karens in this film talk fast and flat and robotic in complete, correct sentences at all times. In fact, all of the characters do. It's like a culture-building thing, and it adds to the surrealism. We are shown a universe where everyone speaks in a painfully on-the-nose manner like Ayn Rand characters or data from Star Trek. It's as if everyone has Asperger's. They make rapid changes of subject from something really disturbing and rude to something very casual. And I was waiting for them to reveal an in-world reason for that style of speech. But no, that's just how it is around here. And the things they accept in their society would be shocking to us, like all the cloning and duels to the death are a normal daily occurrence they broadcast as a reality TV show. I think if you were to only watch the first few minutes, or maybe just one scene, you might think, man, this is really bad writing and acting. But there's definitely more to it than that. It's very much like that scene in David Lynch's Blue Velvet when Jeffrey Beaumont finds the ear in the field. So he takes it to a detective and is like, 
Coming through the field, I found an ear, and he holds up a paper bag. The te- detective is like, you did? A human ear? And Jeffrey says, yeah, I thought I should bring it to you. And the detective steps closer, like way too close, and pauses and says, that's right, let's take a look at it. And the detective opens the paper bag, and smiling, he just says, yes, that's a human ear, all right. <laughs> So if you can appreciate that David Lynch flat dialogue surrealism, check out this film because it is done through the whole thing. So here's the filmmaking lesson I extracted from Duel. As a screenwriter, you can play out emotional meaning through a cockeyed alien world. The physicality or the culture of the world might be much different, but the emotions are universal. And this film is a perfect vehicle for communicating the experience of depression. I gave this one five stars and look forward to seeing the other films by Riley Stearns. If you enjoyed this segment from the Carl King Podcast, remember, you can also listen on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or through an old rubber hose.